What do you think when you look at a painting? Apart from showing the scene or the subject, what does a painting convey? Generally, some paintings convey a story. Other paintings convey an emotion. And some paintings just don't make any sense. Now that we understand what a painting conveys, what do you think is the meaning of this painting? Is it conveying a story or an emotion? Or just like the previous painting that we showed, it makes no sense at all. This bizarre and thought-provoking painting that you are seeing right now is called The Son of Man and it was painted by Belgian artist René Magritte. Magritte was a Belgian painter who was heavily influenced by the art movement of Surrealism. Now, when you think of Surrealism, the most obvious name that comes to your mind is Salvador Dali. And Salvador Dali was actually a contemporary of Magritte. In fact, there was a healthy competition between the two of who could make the most bizarre, most thought-provoking painting. But where Salvador Dali dabbled with the abstract ideas, Magritte focused on the human figure or the face. And he tried to understand the complexities of human emotion. Coming back to the question of what this painting conveys, the answer to that question is it does not convey anything. It actually pushes the viewers to feel something. You might be feeling a bit of annoyance even though you do not understand. And what do you think is the reason for that annoyance? Well, let us give you a hint. Let's address the apple in the room. What many people might not know is that this is a self-portrait. Yes, you heard it right. The man standing in the painting is actually René Magritte himself. But he wanted to create something different, something that is more than just a traditional self-portrait. So does placing an apple right in front of the face make it special? Well, in this case, it does. This isn't the only painting where Magritte has placed something in front of the face of the subject to make us think, to make us find out what is behind that object. Paintings like Man in a Bowler Hat or The Great War both show something obstructing the face of the subject. But can we really say that that is the subject, the subject that is behind the object, which is at the foreground? A quite astounding number of people have found this painting to be annoying. Now, why does this painting annoy people? And most importantly, if something annoys you, you do not look at it. But then what is it in this painting that makes viewers look at the painting even though it annoys them? The answer to the question has been given by the artist himself. Here's what he said about this painting and the presence of the apple right in front of his face. Magritte said, at least it hides the face partly well. So you have the apparent face, the apple, hiding the visible but hidden face of the person. It's something that happens constantly. Everything we see hides another thing. We always want to see what is hidden by what we see. There is an interest in that which is hidden and which the visible does not show us. The interest can take the form of a quite intense feeling, a sort of conflict, one might say, between the visible that is hidden and the visible that is present. So what is he trying to convey? What is he trying to evoke in the viewers? It's quite simple. Just take a look around and see all the things that are lying here and there. There might be a table. There might be a water bottle. There might be anything. And right behind that object, you find out that everything hides something. I mean, that's something that is a quality, an inherent quality of a three-dimensional world. Whatever you keep in front of your eyes is going to hide something behind it. And generally, that's not a problem, right? Like, it happens every day. We are kind of used to it. And that's because nothing that is behind the object interests us. And that is why we do not feel this conflict that Magritte is talking about. 
So how does he bring the conflict? Well, he does that by placing something as simple as an apple right in front of his face. Now we know what he looks like. We we have seen his paintings. We have seen other self portraits where his face is clearly visible. I mean, clearly not this one. But why does this painting makes us want to see his face so badly? Well, because the conflict has just been created inside our minds. Now we find out that the object has now become the obstruction. Now we want to see what's behind that apple. and we know it's a face but we still want to see that it is almost as if we want to pluck that apple right away from that place and see what's behind it the son of man has been a cultural influence and there has been hundreds of different variations of the painting you have the homer simpson and his beloved donut you have some other form of distortions of the painting You have the son of man but without an apple he is standing with an ice cream and then there is the harry potter and the snitch these are just a few examples there are hundreds of different types of varieties and if you just look for it you can find so many other creative variations of the painting but these different variations show the cultural impact the son of man had Now we know why this painting annoys you. But then what quality this painting has that makes you look at it? Makes your eyes glued to the painting. Macrite knew that this painting would annoy people. It would create that conflict inside. It would make you uneasy when you see the painting. But too much of that feeling can have a negative effect. Instead of holding the viewer's attention, the conflict can make people look away from it. or maybe not even look at it at all this is why magritte has added calmness and composure in this painting now we know that calmness is not something that you can add because these are like states of mind but notice how there is a visual harmony in the painting there is symmetry notice how magritte is standing right at the middle of the canvas and in the background there is hardly anything that gets your attention Your eyes are completely focused at this man but there is a balance. Notice how the wall divides the painting in a very clean way. Then the second line of division comes from the horizon. That almost divides the painting into half. Then there's the sky. Now these clouds are just scattered there. There is not much detail. You can see that there is a storm coming, but there's not enough detail for you to invest your attention. in that part of the painting all you want to see is just the man standing in the middle and the apple in front of his face apart from the harmony in the background if you notice the man's posture how magritte is standing it's all too stern straight with perfect lines the coat is without any crease and also notice how the red tie brings the excitement in the monotonous outfit This visual harmony is the reason why people want to look at the painting and just keep looking at it. There is a balance here. There is order and then there is disorder. A very crude metaphor would be that imagine that you're lying on a mattress and this mattress is perfect in every aspect. It is soft, it is comfortable, but there is one thing, there is one small protrusion that just makes it so uncomfortable it is not too uncomfortable but it's just there it's it's just something that you can't really explain but it is there and it makes its presence known 